Let's take a look at ratios and proportions, another frequently tested concept on the SAT math section. Visiting a science museum, you see a massive dinosaur skeleton towering over you. Wanting to know how tall it is, you buy a small, perfect scale model. You measure that the foot of the real dinosaur is 4 feet long, while the model has a 0.4 inch foot and is 4 inches tall. How tall in feet is the real dinosaur skeleton? We've been really clever using the scale model dinosaur and its foot to find the height of the towering dinosaur in front of us. Now, how do we actually do the math to solve for it? Well, the key here is that everything in the scale model and the real dinosaur scales exactly. So say the foot of the real dinosaur was twice as long as the model dinosaur, then the height of the real one would also be twice the height of the model. So we can use that to find the ratio and then find the height. The way we solve using these ratios is through proportions. A proportion is simply one ratio set equal to another. So to start in building a proportion, we need to make each ratio. And when we build these ratios, the key thing that we need to remember is what we call like over like. So in this case, the feet length of both the scale dinosaur and the real dinosaur are like each other because they measure the same thing. Likewise, the height of the real dinosaur and the scale dinosaur are like each other, so they will make another ratio. So we have one ratio is the feet length of both dinosaurs, and the other is the height of both dinosaurs. And we set those equal to create our proportion. So now that we have our proportion, we just need to plug in the numbers and then solve. So step by step, the real height is the unknown. That was what we're going to call x. The model height, we're told, is 4 inches. The real foot length is 4 feet, but we're working in inches, so we need to convert that step by step to inches. That's times 12. And then that gives us 48 inches, the same as 4 feet. And then lastly, the model foot length, we're given is 0.4 inches. So we plug it all in, one by one, putting it together, we have our proportion finally to solve. x over 4 equals 48 over 0.4. So now, to solve, we simply cross multiply, as we see here. That gives us the equation 0.4x is equal to 4.48. So, solving this for x, we simply end up with x is equal to 480 inches. We're not quite done, we need it in feet, so we simply divide by 12, and then we end up with the dinosaur is 40 feet tall. That is a big dinosaur. Most questions using proportions will be quite similar to the one we just did, but let's look at one more example to get really comfortable with how to use proportions. So, here we're asked to find a missing side length given a big triangle with a bunch of other side lengths given. But it looks a little messy, so how do we get started? Well, the key to solving this problem is realizing that we can actually break down this big triangle into two similar triangles. Now, if we know similar triangles, we know that the key use of them is that they create proportions based on their side lengths. So, we can use that fact to create a proportion to solve for x here. So let's find a proportion by first finding each of our ratios. So again, we want to think like over like. So we're going to make one proportion the heights and one proportion the bases. So first, our heights are 7 and 5, so that we get a ratio 7 over 5 by putting the larger triangle over the smaller triangle. Now let's look at our bases. So one base on the smaller triangle is 8, and then the larger triangle, putting it together and adding the lengths, is 8 plus x. So that gives us the ratio 8 plus x over 8 noting again that we're putting a larger triangle over the smaller triangle, and we now have our proportion ready to solve. But what if we were to instead flip it and say 8 over 8 plus x? Would this be correct? Can you spot any error? So what we see what we've actually done is instead of putting the larger triangle over the smaller triangle to match the left-hand side, we've mixed it up and put the smaller triangle over the larger triangle. Now this is an error that we need to look out for. So we see it more clearly again here. So how do we fix it? Well, the lesson here is that our ratios always need to match in a proportion. We have like over like, but we also need to follow this model of a over b equals a over b. So in some sense, our numerators need to match in some way, as well as our denominators. And that will give us a proportion that makes sense, and we're able to solve for an answer. This gives us the correct proportion that we saw before. 7 over 5 equals 8 plus x over 8. So now to solve, we simply cross multiply. This gives us the equation 7 times 8 equals 8 plus x times 5. And now we expand, we get 56 equals 40 plus 5x. And then moving over to the other side, we just combine the 40 with the 56, we get 16 equals 5x, and lastly, we get our final solution for x, which is 16 over 5. So we found our missing side length and we solved the problem. 
that's about it. So keep practicing these methods, and no problem on the SAT about ratios and proportions should be able to surprise you from now on. Hope you liked the video. If you want to hear more and see what else we're up to, hit like and subscribe, and see a new video coming out from Point Avenue every week. If you want to talk to us, hear more about what we're doing, or have any questions, email us at contact at pointavenue.com. Bye!